Welcome to Board Prep Gastroenterology Batch 3. Today I will share 20 questions with you. I recommend that you pause the video after each question and provide the answer. In doing so, you're evaluating how much you really know. Let's begin. In this batch, I will be asking questions about the esophagus. Question 1. A 50-year-old male cigarette smoker presents with difficulty swallowing solid food and weight loss. What is the most likely diagnosis in this patient? Esophageal carcinoma. Question 2. There are two types of esophageal carcinoma, adenocarcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma, which is found in the upper two-thirds of the esophagus squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma is found in the lower one-third of the esophagus. Question 3. What is the most common presenting symptom of esophageal carcinoma? Progressive solid food dysphagia is the most common symptom. Question 4. A 75-year-old patient presents with foul-smelling breath and regurgitation of food eaten three days ago. What is the most likely diagnosis? Zenker diverticulum. Question five. What is the most common cause of transfer dysphagia in the elderly? Zenker diverticulum. Question six. What is the definitive treatment of Zenker diverticulum? Surgery. Question 7. What are the risk factors for esophageal carcinoma? Smoking, alcohol ingestion, diet, and environmental. Question 8. When should follow-up upper endoscopy be performed on a patient with no dysplasia? 3 to 5 years. Question 9. When should follow-up Upper endoscopy be performed on a patient with low-grade dysplasia. 6 to 12 months. Question 10. When should follow-up upper endoscopy be performed on a patient with high-grade dysplasia? In 3 months. Question 11. What test must be done on a patient diagnosed with GERD before anti-reflux surgery is performed? motility study. Question 12. What is the most common cause of non-cardiac chest pain? GERD. Question 13. What is the first test performed in the workup of dysphagia? Barium swallow. This, followed, this is followed by upper endoscopy. If the upper endoscopy did not show anything, then high-resolution manometry should be performed. Question 14. A 30-year-old female complains of difficulty swallowing solid food. She describes a sensation of food sitting in her chest for a long time and slowly empties. What is the most likely diagnosis? Shatsky ring. In younger patients, slowly progressive dysphagia is usually caused by Shatsky ring. In older patients, the same symptom is usually due to cancer. Question 15. What is the treatment of choice for dysphagia due to Shatsky ring? Balloon dilation. Question 16. A patient complains of recurrent attacks of dysphagia after eating. His labs show elevated IgE. What is the most likely diagnosis? Eosinophilic esophagitis. Question 17. What is the recommended treatment for eosinophilic esophagitis? Fluticasone or viscous budesonide. Question 18. Proton pump inhibitors are metabolized by the P450 pathway in the liver. Identify the main enzyme in this process. CYP2C19. Question 19. Which hormone in pregnancy affects the low esophageal spinster so that the pressure is decreased and she experiences 
acid reflux, progesterone. Question 20. Increased body mass index is associated with increased incidence of both GERD and asthma. True or false? True. Well, remember, success is maximizing your capabilities to the fullest extent. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I wish you well. Good night.